first of all for creating a uh, file project in a django first we should make a project folder so i'm making a project folder in my g drive so and renaming it, it i'm just creating a new folder with the name of uh, as a project once the project folder is made then we'll be working forward how to do the rest of the process in this i'll be doing the project with the help of uh, powershell so first of all we should open the powershell with the administrative rights then we should do the scripting in this one as uh, the creating project through powershell so first itself uh, I sh we should go to our particular folder particular uh, folder where we have stored our project so to do that one we should type as cd and uh, we should specify our project location so i'm just uh, specifying my project location so we are now in the project location once we are in the project location then we should uh, start with the python code so for the django code to starting the project we should type as uh, django then admin hyphen admin start project and the project name we should specify so here i'm uh, just writing in the location of project name we should specify the project name so for example i'm taking the project name as a website so because we are starting the website so uh, just i wrote the website as a project name once we execute this code then the project will be created in our specified location uh, as you can see it in our folder uh, it's already created uh, website in our website we need the database also for that one first of all we should go to the specified location of the website like where we have already specified it our uh, project so for that one we, sh we can directly write cd and run specified locations and it will be gone there then after that we should execute the migration code for that one the python manage.py manage.py is a small uh, file which already it's available on our system so when we create the project when we execute it then a pre-built sqlite sqlite is a python database system it's already pre-built in our system it will be created automatically so uh, all the database migration will be done it will be helping us to do the database process once it is done then we should uh, try to run the server we should see whether how the website is looking for that one you can write python manage.py then run server run server means it will start running the server so once we have we do that one then uh, then a server will be automatically be executed or automatically start uh, started then an ip will be at the dot as a local host so you can see 127.0.0.1 is our server it is already created with the help of uh, that run server code as you can see the screen uh, the django provider page is already created and it works our coding everything is works so now let for seeing the administrative page you can just type at ip slash admin so this is administrative page so i will be explaining how to access these things uh, before that let me explain you how to quit from the server so to quitting from the server you should press ctrl c so it will be come out of the server now uh, to make the administrative page like to access the administrative page we should follow some we should make the username and password for that one you should come back to the powershell for accessing the use you super user to create the username and password you should type uh, python um, manage dot py python manage dot py then create super user so the username if they will be asking for the username i'm writing you should write the mention the create username as i'm mentioning as my name adipm then you should write the email address your name or something whatever you want you can write the email address then you should mention the password you should remember that the password will be not shown you just type it then press enter then again retype the password again it will be not displayed even the 
scripter will be not knowing the what password is made so it's a security of the uh, python basically so again you can run and see for running same thing python then don't forget the p should be capital always python then manage dot py then run server uh, run server you can mention it then the server will be running so let me show you the let me show you uh, if i'm running the server as an admin uh, what it will be shown let me show you uh, once uh, we are logging how what will be shown so you can write the username and the password uh, then it will be login this is our uh, django administrative page i'll be showing how the things are done over here here extra music tabs and all this will be not shown on your this one i'll be teaching how to make these things in upcoming lectures this is in this field we, we as you can see group is the user you can add extra users and all here your details will be shown if you want you can change your password logout option is also available if you click the grouping you can do the grouping like whom the particular things should be shown this you can add extra admins to or extra persons and uh, the recent act activities are also shown here and you can log out using logout buttons too and uh, stay tuned for seeing how to make these music albums extra time in youtube and this is how you can log out it.